The racing season at Pimlico is in full swing. Downstairs, bettors prepare for what they hope is a streak of big winnings. Upstairs, jockey Malcolm Franklin's winning streak is abruptly cut short. It's race time for Franklin, who happens to be the only African-American jockey who rides on a regular basis in the state of Maryland. Franklin recently allowed WYPR a chance to see what it's like in his world as a jockey. Down the back stretch on his first mount, you know, a silver, Franklin feels he has the number seven horse in position to win. But the number two horse is too strong down the stretch. After his second place finish, Franklin rushes upstairs for a little post-race analysis. I thought I'd have win it, you know, but um, like I said, my horse got to the front a little bit and just kind of kind of was waiting on more horses, you know, and the other horses run by me so fast, you know, and it's too late then, you know. Franklin is no pushover on the track. Last year, he established himself as one of the top riders in the Mid-Atlantic when he won five races on a nine-race card. Still, Franklin's a rarity among jockeys, an African-American in a career where he's outnumbered by Hispanics, whites, and, on this day, even women. I think a lot of them look at other sports like basketball, football, things like that, you know, because they got to... I mean, your, your body description got to be kind of small, you know, you know, a lot of them, you know, feels out and get real muscular. You, you got skinny guys, but they be tall or too little, stuff like that, you know. But the majority of them get real muscular, play sports, stuff like that. I think they kind of, a lot of them don't really probably uh, participate and look at horse racing like that, you know. That's probably the main reason why. Even though he's just 21, Franklin has quickly earned the respect of his fellow riders. His personality. He's, he's, he's got a good personality. He rides hard. He, he gives you the best he's got. You know, he's, he's just a good all around. You know, when you look at a person in this business, as far as his age and, and the kind of horses he's riding and the people that we're with, you know, and, you know, it's just, he, he just, in all aspects of the game, he seems to be completing. During a nearly three hour break between his races, the track conditions at Pimlico have worsened. By the time Franklin mounts Naley's corner for the sixth race, the dirt track is a muddy mess. At the start of the race, Franklin has Naley's corner in the mix. But again, the horse doesn't have enough power down the stretch and finishes third. The conditions on the track were less than ideal and Franklin comes off the course covered with muck. After wiping the mud off his face, Franklin again takes time to analyze his race. I thought at the three sport, like I said, I'm a winner from here, you know, I can just stop and I just catch him, but now nah, I didn't plan out that time. They just had, their horses kept running and mine just kept running too, but I just couldn't get the days. That's all it took. That's just a day in life, huh? Day in life, man. Day at the job. That's all it took, man. Go on, let me get a pull. From Pimlico Racecourse in Northwest Baltimore, this is Jerry Bembry for WYPR.